happens when you mix a newswoman with a financial reporter and a magician? A really spicy edition of Hot Talk. Sue Simmons, Nicole Lappin, and the outrageously opinionated Penn Gillette join me for Hot Talk. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, welcome back. <laughs> Okay, it's the end of the week, and it's time for our Hot Talk panel uh, for 2012, one of the last ones that we'll be doing here. Okay, so joining me are magician, comedian, and author of the book, Every Day is an Atheist Holiday, Penn Jillette. Yeah. Hey, hello to financial expert and former CNN anchor, Nicole Lappin. And of course, welcome my inspiration and legendary newswoman, Sue Simmons. Okay, so the nation is still mourning the victims and families of the shooting in Newtown, Connecticut. In the wake of this uh, tragedy, our country has um, been renewing this conversation that seems to be ongoing all the, here and there about gun control. President Obama addressed the issue in a press conference yesterday. Take a look. A majority of Americans support banning the sale of military style assault weapons. A majority of Americans support banning the sale of high capacity ammunition clips. A majority of Americans support laws requiring background checks before all gun purchases so that criminals can't take advantage of legal loopholes to buy a gun from somebody who won't take the responsibility of doing a background check at all. I urge the new Congress to hold votes on these measures next year in a timely manner. with uh, Nicole, your thoughts? This is very simple. There should be no semi-automatic weapons, period. They can easily be turned into machine guns. Who needs a machine gun? Hunters don't need a machine gun. You don't need a machine gun at a shooting range. If this lunatic in Connecticut walked in with a handgun, he could have killed two people, which is a tragedy, but he wouldn't have the power to kill 26 people in the way he did. And here's the question, here's the question. When the coverage first started, I'm thinking, what was the mother doing with an assault rifle? And you know, we had that misinformation out there, her, her being a teacher at yes. the school, you yes. know. I said, if she's a hunter, if she's a target shooter, what does she need with an assault? And nobody spoke about it for the first three days. And I guess that's because it was too raw, you know, and they didn't want to hurt people's feelings right. while it was still alive. But that's got to be addressed. The only ones that should have it, SWAT team and military. No uh, one else. People, people are blaming the mother, and, and she is dearly departed, but it's a conversation that needs to be had. What was she doing with the gun? Why was she, uh, th this boy apparently had mental issues. Uh, why would she be taking him to the gun range? Why was she sleeping with her guns out in the open like that? You know, he came in, she was sleeping, and then he shot her. This is also a mental health issue. You know, we need a mental health czar in every county in this country because. Most, most bordering on all people with mental health do no damage to anyone, ever. And most people who have guns do no damage to anyone. This is an atrocity, but this is also an anomaly. And we have to be very careful, those of us who are on TV, mm -hmm. to not spend our time scaring children in order to make political points. What happened there was horrible, but we must remember it's very, very rare. We can save well, many more children by taking better care of our swimming pools and by using seat belts. The way children die is many ways. We should do a little bit of prioritizing because this is way down on the list. Up on the list is swimming pools, and up on the list is caring for children in ways we really can, and fighting against stuff that is a complete anomaly mm -hmm. can be a waste of time, can be grandstanding, and can also scare our children. Yeah, but how is it a waste of time if in the last six months there were more deaths by handgun-related well, suicides or homicides time, than in any terrorist time, attack? Time Magazine. Five years. So what, what time you, Magazine put together a list of the worst mass shootings of the past 50 years in this country. And according to time, between the years of uh, 1966 and 2001, a 35 year period, there were 11 mass shootings. These things don't happen in Switzerland. And these things, 
these things only seem to happen here in our country. Well, that, that's, maybe we that's should not take, true. Maybe we should take a look at uh, uh, Israel's laws. Now, there is a land where people are afraid and uh -huh. can be attacked at any moment. Uh -huh. And there you have to have a 60-day waiting period to get a gun. You have to have a mental health evaluation. Mm -hmm. And there are certain it, other things that are look, stringent there. In Texas, there's a school where the teachers are now either about to start carrying guns or they all carry guns. The teachers, would that make the school safer? You did compare. Yeah, it's the most no, idiotic thing I've ever heard. No, because if you have a gun, you're going to use it. I think so also. You did compare it to terrorist attacks. You did not compare it to other things like giving vaccines out to people. The major, what show business has done is made vaccines seem bad and people are dying of whooping, whooping cough yeah, but in Beverly the Hills. Arming you teachers compare, is the answer? No, no, I, I was That's saying this before that. Uh, most people that have guns don't use them on other people. You said if you have a gun, you're going to use it. Well, you don't. What's that? Most I'm saying if you don't. have a gun, you most better be able people, to use it. Yes. Most people are overwhelmingly good. Okay. Yeah, well, but most people have a gun. 350 million Americans. Right. There are 310 no, that million guns. Right, that doesn't mean that most people have a gun. It doesn't distribute exactly that but, way. But you know, people, you know that. people you know are that uh, blaming you violence in that. movies and videos. Well, that's on insane. This. That's insane. No, it's really? It's not what is it called? Man. Art of War, Man of War. What are the kids playing? Call of Duty. We don't allow that in our house. Really? So busy buying Call of Duty. There needs to be more hugs in households. Those aren't mutually exclusive. Well, Nothing in Call of Duty says you can't hug your family. Uh, well, you know what? No, this says, boy's, this boy's no... favorite game pen was Call of Duty. Yes, and many, and many it's... peaceful people. You're doing the same thing. Um, Call of Duty is the most popular game there is. Everyone's playing it, so of course bad people are going to play it too. Yeah. To try to blame Shakespeare and the violence in Shakespeare and the violence in art uh, for violence that happens in the real world is something that's been tried for years and is always wrong. People must take responsibility. We must stop blaming society well, and actually that, blame the perpetrator. Yeah, you know what? There's, I Call of think. Duty. Call of Duty is something that young people like and enjoy, and it's a game. I think and that's most of the those people are most of those people kids. are violent. Most of the to people see, are like violent. We, we most need to take responsibility for our own houses. And Jamie we have Fox? to stop disliking our children. We attack comic books. We attack monster movies. Now we're attacking video games. Love our children and know that they take can care play. of your household. Let them play. Jamie Foxx is one of the only celebrities. And Jamie Foxx is wrong. Well, he says Dead we wrong. cannot turn our backs and say that violent, violence in films or anything that we do doesn't have some sort of influence. It does. I blame, I, I go along with that. Blame the killers. Why not blame the killers? Well, some of the do killers have blame learned their the killing artists, through movies. Blame the killers, not the artists. Oh, it, Why are you blaming artists for something that bad people did? And it, Shakespeare is not a bad person. He wrote beautiful stuff. It has suicide, it has murder, and it tells us something about our hearts. And people who watch Shakespeare don't kill and call of duty is art. It is not some sort of propaganda well, thing. Well, and that's how, how an easy this? way how out. How about this? This is a case of, 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 uh, of, of violence with guns, video games, and mental health. Now, here's a kid who was borderline autistic with Asperger's. They have a lot of social problems. But they they don't have know no, how to, no they don't violent interact. problems. No, no, no. no. Autistic People kids are usually victims. My point him. is that if you sit this kid in a room all day shooting people, shooting people, if they have no social skills... How do you know that? They, because it's been well, he had no there's no evidence that Asperger's syndrome people go violent from playing no, games. No, this you is not about Asperger's. You have not one data point of evidence on that. I'm not saying that. Well, you just said it. I'm, well, let me try to be okay, clearer. Please. Here's a person who has troubles figuring out what's social and what's not. And he's inundated with shoot, 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 shoot. And then right. a little plan comes to cause, well, maybe I'll just go to school and shoot people. No, you've just done cause and effect where it doesn't exist. There's no you, guilt. There's no guilt. There's no, no, no conscience. No, that's not true that there's no guilt and no he conscience. Make eye that's contact not Asperger's. With this Please don't t tear he, those people apart. I'm I have good friends with Asperger's. They, they, have conf they have conscience. They have empathy. All of that is not true. You're spreading lies about people who are part of our society and that we need to love and take care of and okay. share it. It's not the media. It is not violent movies. It is the politicians. And no, I call on the politicians what about to do family? something once it's and for all. The, the, politicians, the politicians won't do anything until the people speak up. And that means all of this. They are afraid not to be reelected. They're afraid that the people who support gun control yes. will not, will not but, vote for them okay. and they won't get in. Okay. So you have to let them know that we are not for assault guns for the average person.
please, I agree. please let us not attack people with Asperger's syndrome. No, that's no, not. No, no, that's not, not that. But I will say this, okay? The media is still in the town of Newtown, and there are signs all over there. the place saying it's time Get for you to there. leave. I yes. think that the and media needs to go home and leave them alone. Stop scaring us. What do you say? It's the CNN newsroom. What do you say? Speak from personal experience. The media's job is to shine a light on some of the darkest but you can places do that if, if in our a world. Parent, parents can blog. They need to leave these kids alone. So what do you say? The media well, is part of the, the solution. solution. I would say that the first few days there needed to be heavy coverage. Yeah. Because it's a horrific story. But after a week or two, maybe let your Connecticut people hang in there a little bit. But all that national media and the trucks and the horns and the screaming. Out. Ten. I think, the media needs to go. No, I think I think the media has done terrible, terrible things to us, misunderstanding math. It's a it's an anomaly. It's a h horrific thing. But I don't want my children scared by this stuff running 24 hours. And we probably shouldn't be talking about it, all things considered. Yeah. It, well, it was a big story of the week, and that's what we do but here on Hot Talk. You keep underlining story, and it's not a story. It's a tragedy. It is a, tra a very it's big not tragedy. A story. Well, how about it's a tragic story? A tragic story. <laughs> Look, we have to do more than tell stories. This is what I love about our hot talk panel. Uh, thank you all for being here. That's oh the people don't become violent. There's for, no evidence. For more of that. information on They're our panelists, go to wendyshow.com.